This Monday, Canada Day, four daring young men will set off on an adventure. As you'll see, they have a taste for challenges that test their endurance. But that's just one reason they'll spend more than two months rolling through Canada's Arctic. They plan to paddle from Inuvik right through the Northwest Passage. Chris Brown has their story. Do not adjust your set. This really is a rowboat, albeit one of the sleekest, sturdiest ones ever built, with good reason. The unpredictable nature of it is uh, what makes it exciting and makes it an adventure. And what an adventure. Two Canadians and two Irishmen plan to row for up to 80 days through some of the most perilous, unpredictable waters in the world, the Northwest Passage. And we're not going out there thinking uh, we're going to conquer this thing. We just really hope that uh, we can get through and make a very strong statement. A statement about how quickly Canada is losing its Arctic sea ice. Fifteen years ago you couldn't go through the Northwest Passage and last year was the lowest ice year on record. So uh, if we succeed it means there's probably a big problem up there. It's pretty hard to one-up some of the trips these guys have already done. One has trekked in record time to the South Pole. Another has canoed across Canada in a single summer. And another has rowed the Atlantic. So this is, uh, this is our basically our living quarters for the next two to three months. Their boat itself is something of a marvel, made of extra thick fiberglass to stand up to heavy ice. We can house all four of us in here if we need to. It's tight. But the plan is to take shifts with two people rowing at a time and two others sleeping. They have a desalination machine on board to turn the seawater into drinking water and a separate storage area for food. It's essentially, it's freeze-dried food. We'll be burning four or 5,000 calories a day. But there's science to do too. They'll drop an instrument to measure ocean salinity and temperature to help scientists of fisheries and oceans tell how fast the ice is melting. We've never done anything quite like this before, so we're certainly not going to be cocky. And I think what experience brings you is a humbling reality that uh, you don't know what to expect. They'll leave from Inuvik on Canada Day and then, after a lot of arm power, hopefully arrive in Pond Inlet by mid-September with unpredictable ice, polar bears and, of course, the weather to navigate on the way. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.